a very good evening students uh, this uh, talk is about uh, cat va final gyan uh, there are three very basic things to be kept in mind try to capture the flow while reading that is theme based reading or focus on what or try to get into the minds of the author uh, second try to capture the demand of the question identify what exactly is the question asking it generally is one or three or four words which determine exactly how you need to go about the question and third eliminate options with confidence so uh, just a few days before cat uh, i thought uh, let me go another round with you uh, i just uh, took some uh, last year uh, questions and uh, I, i'll try to share the thought process with you try to deep dive and understand the thinking behind how you uh, follow the process properly uh, as you uh, run through the section with speed right okay so let's start uh, to begin with uh, uh, we have a reading comprehension set many people believe that uh, truth conveys power hence sticking with the truth is the best strategy uh, for uh, gaining power unfortunately this is just a comforting myth in fact truth and power have a far more complicated relationship because in human society power means two very different things so what did i read about i read about uh, uh, truth and power aren't essentially correlated they have a very complicated relationship so i always capture the theme when i read right okay on the one hand power means having the ability to manipulate objective realities like making bridges or atomic bombs etc etc on the other hand uh, so this kind of power is related to truth you cannot create uh, objective things without being truthful right on the other hand power also means having the ability to manipulate human beliefs okay so power can uh, actually manipulate objective things also subjective things why human beliefs because uh, you have to get people to cooperate building uh, big things does not require just understanding of physics but also labor of millions of people so earth was conquered by humans because we cooperate in very large numbers right and it depends on believing common stories but these stories need not be true right it's an important point right and uh, you can actually uh, make people believe fictional uh, theories and still cooperate right so uh, we know a lot that's the point but then we also believe a lot of nonsense so what is the passage overall paragraph overall talking about central idea 2 as i wrote it down power manipulates uh, in two ways realities and also beliefs right uh, why beliefs to get large scale cooperation so, so final point was we do make a lot of sense but also we uh, believe in a lot of nonsense right so central idea is essentially summing up the whole paragraph together okay moving on when it comes to uniting people around a common story fiction plays uh, has three advantages uh, over truth all right so this is a very uh, clear part here we are going to three three advantages uh, that fiction has over truth first uh, truth is universal fiction tends to be local so you can create uh, very uh, you know distinguishing local kind of a uh, uh, you know uh, forever where you you know a kind of re people relate to your uh, st uh, story second uh, fiction uh, 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 has an advantage over truth as it talks about the handicap principle what is that uh, fiction can be outlandish or ridiculous uh, you know it can be created in a way so huge right the, so that it cannot easily be faked truth is very simple anybody can you know try to replicate that right but fiction can be created in a magnitude which is not easy to replicate third truth is painful often and it's disturbing it's tough right uh, fiction can be very soothing and uh, loving and uh, peaceful right so these are the three points why right so it's about fiction can be made to create stories which more people would like to relate to because it is maybe you know more comforting more easy more related to their thoughts and beliefs etc etc uh, the paragraph further says that if you totally adhere to truth it's good spiritually but not winning politically 
So what is the central idea of this paragraph? The third para central idea, as I could get it, is that fiction is greater than truth. Okay, for uniting people, because of three parameters, fiction uh, can be distinguishing, uh, right? It can be outlandish, and uh, it can also be more uh, comforting or easy, right? Okay, next para. Even if we need to pay some price for deactivating our rational fac faculties, uh, so if, you, if we don't become too rational, right? Uh, we can actually get increased uh, bonding among people, right? And scholars also, not just politicians, over thousands of years, they have had to think, should I present reality and get people disunited? Or should I serve, uh, you know, some kind of a fiction and uh, lead, the, which leads to social harmony, right? So this kind of, uh, you know, a split uh, between A or B types, uh, you know, uh, between truth and fiction and its impact has been created in the end, right? See, last line, uh, should they let people know the truth even at the price of disunity? So what is the last paragraph talking about? The last paragraph is about fiction or irrationality leads to social cohesion or can truth can possibly lead to a risk of disunity. Okay. So let's so basically you're trying to capture what the author is doing here. The author is trying to tell us that truth, though theoretically or rationality, rationally is a very good thought, but uh, actually power can be created better or more uh, uh, you know scalable uh, if uh, fiction is used in a proper manner. Right, I know. So that is what I could capture the whole, uh, you know, uh, passage uh, after reading. So let me take you to the questions. The central theme of the passage is about the choice between truth and power. Okay, truth and fiction, na, to gain power. Chalo, dekhte hai. B. Leaders who unknowingly spread fictions versus who intentionally do so. Unknowingly versus intentionally. No, that was not the main point. That was not the point also. So quite irrelevant, not mentioned. Stories that unite people and that distinguish groups from each other. Distinguish groups from each other. That distinguish groups is not a fair point. And, and that is also not the main point. D dekhte. So pehla theme meko achha nahi lag raha. Overall. Attaining social cohesion and propagating objective truth. In dono ke beech ka choice. Okay. So see, let's understand the demand of the question. The central theme pooch raha hai about what? Choice between. किन दो चीजों के बीच में चॉइस है है ना सो सोशल कोहेशन मतलब चॉइस बिटवीन कि क्या करेंगे तो लोग यूनाइटेड होंगे वर्सेस उसको कॉम्प्रोमाइज करके केवल सच पे ध्यान दें दैट इज द चॉइस द ऑथर इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फर्स्ट फ्रॉम पॉलिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लेटर आल्सो फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ स्कॉलर्स राइट ओके लेट्स गो टू द सेकंड क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कोट्स कुड बी आर्ग्यू दैट द ऑथर ओवर एम्फसाइजेस द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फिक्शन Okay, argue that the author overemphasizes the importance of fiction. Fiction का importance कहाँ बढ़ा चढ़ा के बोला है author ये देखना. Okay, a. In fact, truth and power have a more complicated relationship because in human society, power means two very different things. Truth and power. इसमें fiction आया कहाँ? Not relevant. B. Sticking with the truth is the best strategy. It's a myth. Again, इसमें भी fiction नहीं है. Irrelevant. C. On one hand, power means ability to uh, manipulate realities. Other hand, uh, to hurt animals, construct bridges, cure diseases, etc. What what are we talking about? Is is maybe कहीं fiction का importance है नहीं? D. Scholars often had to decide whether they serve the truth or social harmony. Should they aim to unite people by making sure everyone believes the same fiction, or should they let people know the truth? यहाँ पे कह रहा है very clearly कि to unite people you have to make sure whether people believe in the same fiction this is where you you get a feeling as a reader that you are over emphasizing the importance of fiction kind of saying that truth can never unite got the point so again d is the correct answer theek hai to pichle question mein bhi right answer was d in question number 2 also the right answer is d got it hai na okay so point being a b c are irrelevant they are talking about power and truth they are not talking about fiction at all d is telling us that you, for social unity fiction is important that is where you get a feeling ki he might be over emphasizing right or wrong ka baat nahi hai hai na it's about ki bhai over emphasize kar raha hai zyada hi bol raha hai uski favor mein is it really necessary so you might feel hai na so this question bhi puch raha hai could we argue theek hai see understanding the demand of the question is so very important 
Look at this question. I have highlighted two things in different colors. First, what is the question type? What is the author overemphasizing ya argue karna hai? Theek hai? About what? The importance of friction. Dono part hota hai. Dekho. About what and what is the question type? Iska previous question dekho. Previous question dekho. Central theme poots hai. Theek hai? That is the type of the question. But about what? About the choice between. To kai baar ye do part ho jata hai. Theek hai? Dhyan se isko question ka type ko pakarna. All right. Let's have a look at the next one. The author would support none of the following statements about political power except that. Okay. Would support none of the following statements about political power except that. None except. Matlab. Uh, kisi ko nahi karega. Bas ek ko karega. Matlab true hi pooch raha basically. Alright. About what? About political power. So the type of the question is none and except. Na? And about what? About political power. Dekho. Question ka type pakarna siko. Speed mein. Ye khel khelna hai. Okay. Manipulating people's beliefs in political advantages, but a leader who propagates only limits is likely to lose power. Uh, likely to lose power? Aisa tha nahi bol raha, ulta bol raha tha. Ye to keh raha tha ki fayda hi hoga. There are definite advantages to promoting fiction. Needs to be a limit to be to pervasive belief in myths. Uh, Kahan bol raha hai wo ki limit hona chahiye? The author ka tone nahi aisa. Dekho, again, this type of question mein, na, don't let your personal bias go in. The author is very clear. Hai na? The author is in favor of myths and fiction. Right? Okay. C. Why unadulterated truth is not recommended? Leaders should stay as close to truth. No, the author has not hinted. I am saying the first two are wrong. Right? So none are supported. D. People cannot handle the real truth. So leaders they deviate from it. Na, oh, lesser painful. Ha ah, ha. Right. D. Correct. It's very simple. Understand? So again, look at the two colors I have done here. The black one, the question type, none and except. But then you have to look for the true one. And the blue one, about what? Statements about political power. Learn to identify the demand of the question. That is where the key lies. Okay, question number four. The author implies that scholars uh, like successful leaders. Okay. Scholars use myths to attain the power. B is no, no, not at all relevant. C, uh, better than the past is not mentioned, not relevant. Today, no better than the past. Nahin. Need to leverage both types of powers to remain in office. Scholars, seriously, not relevant, not mentioned. A is the answer. They know how to balance truth and social unity. That is what the last four lines of the passage are talking about. Okay? So, if if you use elimination, these three things, theme-based reading, karna hai, question ke demand, ko pakarna hai, options ko objectively uh, eliminate, karna hai, you will be able to run through the section like a champion. Revise this uh, video maybe one more time, a couple of days ke baad, hai? the thought process does not change. Hai? Master this like a champion. Abhi se leke cat tak, let's say, another everyday solve an RC and think like this every time. If you get a question wrong, analyze it thinking the same way. Alright? Follow this process. Okay, so uh, we are talking about the VR section, so just took a VR set also. Right. Uh, this is parajambles. So you have to arrange to form a logical paragraph. Uh, let's see. I'll just read it once and then I'll take you to the where, one where I did the solution. Scientists have for the first time managed to edit. So when I read even a parajambal, I try to capture the theme. Theme, understand, is not just content. Theme is content plus flow. You know, it's, uh, it, it's like what is the author trying to say? What is the author trying to tell or say? This helps in para summary also, para jumbles also, odd one out also. Try to create a mental picture of what did you read about. Okay. This helps. Anna? And then sequencing, ordering and all that introductory sentence. The logic is simple. For different questions, it is different. For para jumbles is, you have to think of introductory sentence. You have to think of links. Right. Etc. Etc. Do that. But also, read focusing on the theme. So, let's do this. Scientists have for the first time managed to edit genes in a human embryo. To repair a genetic mutation. Creating hopes that these procedures may be available outside laboratory conditions sometime. The cardiac disease. So, dekho, what, what my mind always thinks now for the first time. Okay, let's see. The cardiac disease causes sudden death in otherwise healthy young athletes and affects 1 in 500 people. The cardiac. The means particular. Okay. Correcting the mutation in the gene 
द जीन would not only ensure that the child okay matlab there might be some talk because the is a definitive article definite article yeah? it might be referring to something specific that the child is healthy but also prevents transmission of mutation to future generations okay it is caused by a mutation in a particular gene the child will suffer from the condition even if it inherits one copy okay see it is caused what is it see capturing pronouns definite article these things help okay and then also trying to get the theme what are we talking about here we'll see it inherits any one copy of the mutated gene in results announced in nature this week scientists uh, fix a mutation that thickens the heart muscle the condition called something so condition see in product introducing a condition okay so one thing i was very clear immediately as i read it that one or five will start okay because they are introducing that we are talking about scientists and trying to work on something and then we are talking about what happens when the thing is cured right so we are basically talking about science working on a kind of mutation to kind of you know uh, uh, ensuring a better results in a particular type of disease that is the thing while reading you okay, can try to capture in the first attempt any kind of words like this connecting words or phrases see the way i highlighted connecting words or phrases and also focus on the theme that is the flow what is the author trying to say that is how you should be reading okay now let me take you to the solution part see i have highlighted some parts here and then here comes the answer okay pay attention see i said one or five will start now look at this the first black bolded part scientists have for the first time managed to edit genes right and five ka black bolded part in results announced in nature this week it is referring to the black bolded the two parts connect one and five are connected also i have yellowed the first time thing that is where you are thinking that where it should be the more introductory kind of a, a, a sentence right okay very good so if if you have been practicing para jumbles even a bit you, you you will be able to strike chords with what i am trying to explain here so one and five okay now five ends with that the, a condition is called hyper, hyper something something right the cardiac disease see red red part this the this refers to the other red part okay then uh urge a child and the child that closes the logic see the blue blue get connected so 4 and 3 okay i i, I don't want to exactly spoon feed because you have to do it on your own okay i i'm telling what the logic is the 1 5 get connected on the black part okay and 5 to get connected on the red part the highlighting which i have done theek hai uh, so that is how parable flow works you know so i uh, understand the key, the key the final summary notes it's it's no rocket science it has to be a uh, theme based highly focused reading okay if you are finding that you, have, you find some difficulty in capturing the theme consciously force yourself for the coming 10 days to be more focused while you are reading maintain a good reading posture try to, to make your reading objective oriented while you are reading try to capture what did i read about what was the author trying to tell capture the flow not just the content okay क्वेश्चन का डिमांड पकड़ना है है ना एंड देन वेर एवर देर इज एन ऑप्शन यू नीड टू एलिमेंट ठीक सो दीज आर द फाइनल समरी नोट्स कीप दीज थिंग्स इन माइंड एंड फॉर ऑल स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव द एल्गोरिथमिक रीडिंग कॉम्प्रेंशन बुक बाय कमलेश सर एंड माई सेल्फ जस्ट मेक श्योर ना उस ई बुक का जो पी है उसका पेज नंबर सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी ओके i said i would strongly recommend that is rc glossary se leke uh, question type 11 3 4 times re read before cat okay also keep reading at least 30 to 45 minutes every day with good posture and uh, proper uh, theme based reading practice hai na and this reading should be highly relevant all right Uh, mix a bit of editorial type reading uh, with uh, or, or be factory reading club article reading with uh, a bit of uh, you know uh, wiki or google uh, fundamental reading uh, for some old school topics you know that right kind of mix will help you uh, a lot in the cat exam theek okay? hai so on the on that note uh, keep these uh, things in mind remember if you practice this every day right don't carry any baggage of what you have read or not from now till cat just focus on the similar kind of thought process you know and you can really really score very high in the verbal exam
with those words all the very best